All right, so today I'm going to create a DynamoDB table and insert data into it using a Lambda function. So the first thing we need to do is go to DynamoDB. I have it right here, but you can search for it. DYN and DynamoDB. Click on that. All right, so we don't have to make a database. We just have to make a table. The database is already there. We're going to create the table. And then under table details, you need to give it a name. I don't know, maybe Bigfoot Sightings. Cool. Partition key. We'll use the user ID. Eventually get that from Cognito, but right now we're going to hard code it. We'll say user ID. Hard code it in Lambda so that we can write it to the table. And let's go down here. We'll keep everything default. Create table. All right, the table was created successfully. Now we need a Lambda function to write to our table. So I'll go ahead and search for Lambda. L-A-M, right click, open link in new tab. And we'll click on that tab. And now I have some functions here. Let's go ahead and make another one. Create function, author from scratch. Function name, I'll call this uh, BF or Bigfoot. Right, we'll keep it short. And that's good. Create function. All right, our function is being created. It's done. Let's go down to the code section. I'm going to change a few things. I'm not going to use async. All right, and I want the event. I also want the context. And I'll do a callback. All righty. And we'll get rid of this code in here. Let's go ahead and get a, uh, a parameters object with our data in there. But since we're writing to DynamoDB, we're going to need to require, we'll say, const for constant AWS require the AWS SDK. AWS SDK. There we go. Put a col uh, semicolon there. Constant. We're going to need a DynamoDB object. I'll just call it DYN. And we'll do a new AWS dot DynamoDB. We're going to pass in region colon US East one. Pick your region. I'm in US East one comma and then the API version. And I know that this seems old, but it is the newest one as of 2022. And we'll do 2012-08-10. All righty. So now we have that. Let's go ahead and make a parameters object. Params equals. We're going to pass in the item. So we have an item. And then the item is going to have a user ID. So user ID colon S for string. And then we're going to give it a name like slaw dog. Slaw dog one, two, three. He saw Bigfoot and he's reporting it. All right, we'll do a comma here because we got to pass in more than one item. We'll do a lat for latitude. And that's going to be a number, say 39.1. Uh, we'll do a longitude colon N. 41.65, the five's good. All right, oh, and let's do a timestamp too. So we'll come down here and we'll say uh, time. All right, I'm gonna pass it in as a string. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some empty quotes here plus date dot now. And we would also get this from the event coming in from our API gateway. But I thought this would be pretty cool. All righty. Um, what, he, what do we have here? Let's do a comma. We have the item. We need the table name. So we'll just say table name colon. And it is what? Bigfoot sightings. Bigfoot sightings. I'll put a colon there. And then just get our, our uh, DynamoDB item or object. Do a put item. Start to lose it a little bit here. Params. And we're going to have a function that gets passed in to an anonymous function with an error and data. 
All right, so here, let's get a curly bracket. If there's an error, then we'll do a callback with the error. Else, we'll do a callback, passing back nil for the error and the data. I think we're good. Put a semicolon here. Let's make that one line. All right, we're going to deploy this, but we need to give we need to give this Lambda function permissions to talk to DynamoDB. We're going to go to the configuration, execution role, click on our execution role, and right here under Add Permissions, we're going to attach a policy. I'll do DYN, hit Enter, and then I'm just going to give it full access to DynamoDB. Attach policy. There we go. Let's go back to our Lambda. It opened up in the IAM management console. Go back to our Lambda. Go to code. We want to test this here. The test is actually going to insert the data. So let's go ahead and click on test. We need to give a new event name. I'm going to call this my Bigfoot test. Don't worry about this because we're not actually passing in data. We are hard coding everything. We'll save it. And then let's go ahead and try it. We'll hit test again. Here's our execution results. It's looking good. I don't see any errors. Let's go to DynamoDB. We'll get rid of this window here and click on our Bigfoot sightings. Explore table items. Oh, look at that. Slaw dog. Let's open that up. So we got some data into our database. Pretty easy. I thought that was pretty good. I'll see you in the next video and go ahead and give that a try writing from Lambda to DynamoDB.